hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we'll be going to discuss a problem which is asked in, asked in uh, was asked in amazon and microsoft so the problem is maximum unsorted subarray so it's a very interesting problem let's see what uh, the problem is you are given an array of n non negative integers find the minimum subarray so if we sort that subarray the whole array should get sorted that means we need to find a subarray in an array such that if we sort that subarray the entire array becomes sorted and it should be the minimum subarray right if a is already sorted means the array is already sorted then just return minus 1 because obviously then there will be no subarray which should be sorted so as to make the array sorted because the array is already sorted right so uh, let's see how we can approach the problem let's see this test case and understand what the problem is so if you see this array it's not sorted right in the in the problem what we have to do is we need to find a sub array right so a sub array which we should sort to make the entire array sorted right so and the sub array should be of minimum length minimum length right this is our question now if you see this <clears throat> in this question we if we sort this sub array just see this sub array if we sort it then the entire array will become sorted if we sort this sub array it will become 2 3 4 right this sub array and 1 will be as it is 5 will be as it is so see the entire array becomes sorted right so the minimum sub array which should be sorted to make the entire array sub sorted is of length 3 and it starts from index 1 and it ends at index 3 so the output should be 1 comma 3 so we'll be returning like a pair right this should be the start of the sub array and this should be the end index of the sub array right this is our question so i'll give you a hint and then you think like how you can approach the problem right from checking this problem like if we see this input what we can realize is like this is the answer right this is the answer so why we are taking from 3 like what makes 3 the starting of the sub array now if you see right just check it out uh, over here 5 2 is less than 5 right but see 4 is greater than 2 4 is greater than 2 right so this makes like if you see let's take one let's take this example uh let's take this test case first if we have 1 3 2 4 5 if we have this test case so just check it out what will be the output just see what will be the output for this it will be 1 comma 2 1 will be the starting index 2 will be the ending index why because if this sub array is sorted then the entire sub array uh, entire array will be sorted right now how you will get to know <coughs> how you will get to know that this is the sub array see over here right 3 is greater than 2 so this makes this as the index where we are not like it is not sorted right so this will be the starting and if you look from the end you will see right you will see that 2 is less than 3 but it's coming after 3 so this is a problem so this would be the end so by this you will see that 3 comma 2 is a sub array so what we are doing is for getting the start of the sub array we are checking from the beginning that is there any i such that is there any a of i which is greater than a of i plus 1 see 3 is greater than 2 na so this will be our starting of the sub array so start will be index i this is one condition 
for finding the start of the subarray and for finding the end just think what you will do just pause the video you will start you will start from the end and you will see is there any j which is less than j minus 1 index <clears throat> right see is there any a of j such that it is less than j minus 1 over here 2 is less than 3 so this makes a discrepancy right this is not sorted then this is not sorted so then this j will be the end of the sub array end of the sub array j so this is two conditions these are two conditions right so uh, using these two conditions you can get your start and end and then you can return start comma end as a pair or a list anything right now uh, i hope you understood this thing using this test case now what i want you to do is just pause the video and implement the same logic which we discussed uh, above to find the start and end start and end for this for this array okay i hope you might have got what will be the start and end index so let's see so for the start the condition was that a of i should be greater than a of i plus 1 then start will be equal to i and for the end it was a of j should be less than a of j minus 1 then the end will be j right so let's see if we start from the beginning if we start from the beginning 20 it's if, if this is i then i plus 1 is 11 and 20 is greater than 11 so here the array is not sorted right so this is the starting point of the sub array 20 so our start will be start will be 1 right now let's check let's check the end so for the end if you see uh, if you see this for the end uh, 20 uh, a of j should be le less than j minus 1 so if this is j 11 is less than j minus 1 this is j minus 1 index 11 is less than 14 na? so j end will be j index which is 12 so this is our end and this is our start right so we got we got start comma end as 1 comma 12 so this will be the sub array now do you think this answer is correct do you think this answer is correct because let's see why this answer is not correct <coughs> right let me erase this uh, this approach is completely correct but one condition we need to take care of which we'll see in this test case <coughs> just see if if you sort from like our starting was one index na, and it will go till 12 index if you sort this sub array what are what are two like the entire array will become 10 will be as it is so here it will be 4 because it is the smallest then there will be uh, 10 then there will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 times 11 right 6 times 11 and then there will be 1 2 3 20 3 times uh, 1 2 3 uh, sorry 4 times and then there will be this 20 and this 20 right so this will be our entire array when we sub sort this sub array this sub array now do you think this array be had become sorted is this sorted array no why because 4 is less than 10 so 4 should be in the starting now if, if this array should be sorted so one condition which we need to take care of is that there might be a possibility there might be a possibility that after finding the start and end of the sub array which we got as 1 comma 12 we need to find first of all the maximum element from this sub array the max so the max is 20 and we need to find out the minimum minimum over here is 10 so then we'll start from the beginning and we'll check uh, sorry minimum is 4 minimum is 4 right in this sub array then we'll start from the beginning till the start index till the start index so we'll start from 0 till start 
and we will check is there any element which is greater than the minimum of the sub array greater than the minimum of the sub array and any a of i so if there is like 10 10 is greater than the 10 4 so this means that this should be included in the sub array then only this entire 4 will come in the starting because then this whole sub array will be taken into account now so then we will increase we will update our start by this a of by i i will be zero then start will be zero so the sub array will start from here right and then also the same thing we need to check from the end so max is 20 we will check is there any element which is smaller than is there any element which is smaller than the max for example if there had been over here uh, 13 so then this 13 should be included in the sub array so that all because the elements which are in the sub array are going to be sorted now over those will be sorted so 13 should be included in the sub array so that it gets sorted right so these conditions we need to take care of right so i hope you understood the approach so answer for this question uh, this uh, test case if we do not include this will be 0 comma 12 right starting from this till this so if you sort this entire sub array now then the entire array will become sorted right let's discuss the algo uh, you will get to know after that so in the algo first what we did was we checked condition we we find we found start start index start index how we found that if there is a of i which is greater than a of i plus 1 which means that this is not sorted right obviously if the before element is sort, uh, like greater than the next one so that's not sorted now so uh, sorted in ascending order basically we have to have in ascending order so then start will become i this is one condition then we will find found end index right n index so if there is a of j which is less than a of j minus 1 then this is not sorted so end will become j after finding these what we'll do is we will then calculate the maximum in this sub array like from start till end what is the maximum element in the sub array and what is the minimum element in the sub sub array from start index till end index this maximum and minimum element will compare them with the rest of the elements so fourth point will be we will start from zero index and we will go till start and we will check if there is any a of i which is greater than the minimum so this a of i should be then start should become i because that element should be included in the sub array so that it gets sorted right and then the fifth point will be we will check from end to end index to the uh, last index of the array and is if there is any a of i which is less than the max then that should be included in the sub array so end will become i then right so this is our approach and then we will return start comma end so i would highly recommend just check this algo just see this algo and write code by yourself you will be able to write code very easily if you just follow these steps and pause the video i hope you ha you have written the code let's see the code now so uh, the code is we'll see step by step right first of all what we did we found the start index if a of i is greater than a of i plus one right so we'll start from zero till the size and if a of i is greater than i plus one start will be i similarly we will find and if there is any like see if there is any if this is test case if we are have already sorted array like 1 2 3 4 5 6 right then the start will be the end index like it will be the uh, end index so if i is equal to a like if i has reached the end means there is uh, the array is already sorted so there is no sub array then return minus 1 
then we will find the end index how we find the end index by using this a of j should be less than a of j minus 1 a of j should be less than j minus 1 then end will be j so we found the start we found the end now is the case special case first of all we'll finding the max and minimum element from start till end that means in that sub array that in the sub array we'll finding the max and min right and then after that we are checking what we are checking from zero index to start is there any element which is greater than the minimum if that is so that should be included in the sub array so that start should be j, then start should be j and similarly if there is any j such that it is less than max element as we discussed right if it is less than max the end will be i end will be that index and at the last you have taken a vector ans and you can add the start and end in the uh, vector and then you can return the vector so the time complexity for this approach is o of n because we are doing a, a single traversal every time right and the space complexity will be o of n because we are making this vector right to uh, sending the uh, like basically it will be not o of n space will be not o of n since we al always there will be <coughs> two elements na start and end so it will be constant space like two so it will be constant space right so i hope you understood the question very important question it is it's asked in amazon and microsoft so uh, it's it's easy question like basically very easy question just you need to take care of this case this case right so i hope you understood the problem uh, if you like the video please like it please subscribe to the channel it gives motivation a lot please share with your friends channel and uh, please hit the bell icon and i'll i'll see you in the next video